Dear us, the bad news is that our planetary life is broken and it begs for a global life-saving change. But the good news is that the fix begins with us. It starts behind our desks. In my not-so-happy view, most of us practice a kind of occupational personality split because it so strangely happens that from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. we are ready to go to various, even far-reaching compromises to earn a living. And then we go home and complain about how fucked up this whole world is. Which is maybe good for our lazy personality or our short-term personal finances. But it's certainly bad for our planetary community and for our long-term human prospects. Yes, we are for sale to earn a living. But at the same time, we expect something completely different from everyone else. We easily blame others for all global ills, but we quickly justify our own occupational bullshit. We want a meaningful and fulfilling life for our families, conveniently forgetting about other people. Call it one of the biggest absurdities of modern life, if you wish. No, we are not all in this together, but we should be. We simply must. So my idea for today is to encourage you to feel more responsible for your planetary neighbors. Please, rethink your occupational values and your working practices. Reimagine your relationship with buyers of your work and reevaluate the importance of your job. Empower yourself and become a life activist, a daily superhero of global positive change. Are you brave enough to start a personal revolution? Are you ready to become a tell it like it is kind of person? Are you willing to criticize your employer despite all potential bruising? Can you stick up with what you believe in? Push back, come up with better arguments, question any occupational dogmas and, the most importantly, speak on the records on behalf of ours and future generations in medicine, finance, food production, education, energy generation, legal professions and politics. Healing life for the benefit of all requires from us a single set of values for work and for private hours. This is why we must transform ourselves and to start doing things differently. Let's not forget that uncorrupted thinking and unselfish acting are two great instruments of human advancement and we have no right to fail it. Not any longer. Yes, I'm fully aware that my idea of encouraging all of us to feel more responsible for our own future might feel too optimistic. But please, don't call me naive. I just simply refuse to stop believing in our human agency, that all single individuals make a huge difference in many different daily ways. And when I look forward, all I know is that I want to be hopeful.